If you're considering buying a new laptop online, you might want to think twice because U.S. intelligence agencies are reportedly planting bugs on them before they reach their destination. German news magazine Der Spiegel says there is a special NSA unit dedicated to this task. RT's Peter Oliver has more. The latest revelations that have come out uh, from Edward Snowden that have been reported in Der Spiegel seem to show that the NSA spying, snooping capabilities are far beyond what we previously thought. Not only can they listen to our phone calls, listen to our, read our emails, um, but that in fact anything you, were, you buy may already come fully equipped with NSA hardware. Now, um, never mind Santa's workshop, they talk about a secret workshop that uh, would in install chips into computers that may be sold in certain areas that the NSA deems to be of worth looking into. Um, so that means that anybody that received a computer for Christmas, have a look inside it. There may well be something you didn't quite expect in there. Um, now, as well as that, it also the, the latest revelations that were reported in Der Spiegel uh, also go into the fact that the underwater cables that uh, connect us all around the world have also been hacked by the NSA and that yes we're all being spied on and they all they know everything what we're looking at and not only can they access what we are sending over the internet but occasionally it may well be that the hardware that we we send those messages with has already been tampered with. Well, for more on this story, let's cross live to London and talk to Jim Killock from the Open Rights Group. Sir, does this, the latest revelations from the NSA, do you, do, you, do you really think this means we can't trust our own laptops? I mean, sometimes it will mean that some people shouldn't trust their laptops. And I think what we need, but, but also governments have into their own security organizations and what part Part of what uh, the De Spiegel articles described today is how government, uh, how the NSA are hacking Mexican government in order that they can find out more about Mexicans are dealing with uh, drug issues and, and so on. So I think that's really quite uh, dangerous and, 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 and problematic because, again, the government, the NSA appears to be making its own decisions about how other democratic governments uh, should be operating their policies and, and not trusting them to do their job. Well, uh, who, who could be the target of this of, to, to intercept um, the communications via these laptops? Are we talking foreign governments or just individuals? I mean, how far reaching could this go, do you think? Well, I think it is, if, you, if, if we're talking about um, altering people's hardware and pre-installing viruses, I imagine that's a fairly uh, small number of, of, of devices. But we don't know um, exactly how this is uh, policed, whether courts are giving individual authorizations or more likely they're giving a general authorization to the NSA to uh, hack equipment as they like. And we, we need to know a lot about that because it's, that's how you can control some of that behavior. But what, what this article has talked about really is a whole department, extremely well resourced, um, going, you know, employing um, some, some you know, dozens of people and going up to hundreds of people over the next year or two uh, to hack networks, as your uh, correspondent was describing, um, individual people's computer equipment, um, and uh, writing viruses like the Stuxnet vi the virus that was used to hack um, the uh, Iranian government's uh, nuclear facilities, um, but also uh, the Belgacom, the Belgian uh, national telecoms uh, provider, in order to obtain information about the European Commission so, uh, and European Parliament, we suspect. So, you know, the, these are very large operations targeted at individuals, governments, um, and network providers to get all kinds of access to all kinds of information. Uh, quick question, just uh, in closing, what, uh, you know, bugging personal computers is certainly illegal. How could the NSA, uh, you know, somehow argue that this was okay? Obviously, at some point, someone's going to find out this is happening. Uh, how, how, what could their argument possibly be to legitimize this? 
Well, I think that that is exactly the question we need to hear from the NSA, and I, I you know, the answer we we need to hear that from the NSA. I think that you know it is possible to sometimes make an argument that if somebody is a really serious, dangerous uh, criminal, that maybe that that person should have their computer hacked. But what what I think we'll probably find is that this is wider than that. Uh, certainly, when we're talking about governments, it, it's necessarily wider than that. And uh, we'll probably find that the supervision about those choices is not very sophisticated and doesn't deal with individual cases. It's probably blanket permission. And that, that's where you get a lot of danger, I think. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Jim Killock from the Open Rights Group. Thank you very much, sir.